I'm like, how are you going to tell me not to eat tilapia? Focus. When you eat them chicken nuggets and cheeseburgers from McDonald's, like clearly, obviously, that's not real meat, boo. Okay, so somehow I lost the clip before this, which was the opening of the video. But before this, all I said was that I've been doing really well on my diet and exercise res regimen ugh, this week. Eating mostly fish and vegetables, and I was reminiscing about a conversation that took place with an ex-co-worker of mine that told me eating tilapia was so bad, but she ate McDonald's like every day, and in no lie was her favorite restaurant. Like, girl. If you can eat um, a chicken nugget and a mystery meat cheeseburger, I think I can eat tilapia and be alright. She was also like saying how broccoli wasn't broccoli wasn't good for you it's a hybrid and some shit and I'm like girl goodbye yeah so I found that rather interesting for breakfast my plan was to do like oatmeal I bought um just some plain oatmeal and because I like oatmeal like plain oatmeal and if you put like well if I put like some bananas like some fresh bananas and uh, cinnamon or if I do chopped apples and cook the apples in it with cinnamon I really like it that way so I've been eating that for breakfast and I tried to do smoothies too I bought a bunch of fruit and I put them in the cute little baggies bagged them up and said I'm gonna make me a smoothie like put them in like smoothie ready bags I'm gonna make me a smoothie well, I guess that's how I said it and yeah, I I don't know. I don't know. I feel like if I buy the unhealthy smoothies, like with a whole bunch of sugar and juice and no real fruit, I can scarf them bitches down. Like take me somewhere and give me an unhealthy smoothie. And it's going down. But my little beauty blender is trying out. But I have not been able to make a smoothie that I like. I try using the soy milk to blend it out. Blend it out. I'm looking at this. So like um to blend it with and it was a no for me completely. A no. Mm -mm. It was disgusting. It tasted like a like a, a fruity sugar free milkshake and I just wasn't here for it so that didn't work I tried to make it again with like strawberries pineapples bananas and then I used some spinach and I used the um I used some green tea that I made that I love I was like I like green tea I'm sure you can't go wrong with that and it wasn't nasty it just wasn't that good. Like, I, I tried to drink it. I was really forcing myself to drink it. I didn't enjoy it. But it was tolerable. <sighs> so, I don't know if I'm a smoothie type of, type of girl. I don't know if that's going to be my jam. I might save that fruit to make margaritas when I can drink again. That's the last thing I, I cut out of my um, diet. No alcohol. It's a mosquito trying to take my life right here. Not today, Satan. Not today. Oh. Yes, yeah, so, but I really like the stuff that I have been eating. I also have been thinking about doing a, um, like a 28-day vegan challenge. And I really was doing a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of research about that over the last couple days so yeah getting a lot of recipes together and just really doing research so when I do start I got all my shit together all my ducks in a row and I was so excited to start that until of course until my mother called me yesterday and when I was eating that food it was like so good I was like do I really want to do I really want to do this like do I really want to go 28 days and not be able to eat any meat 
Like, I don't know if I'm about that life. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do that. I might still do it. When I, like, I guess when these ribs get out of my system and I digest them all, I feel a, feel a different way. But right now, while they're in there, I'm, not, I'm, I'm really rethinking this whole 28 day vegan challenge. And it's only 28 days, sure enough, but I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to break down and eat a cheeseburger like find myself in a Dixie Queen line spending my check we'll see I'll keep you guys updated on how that goes and whether it's a go or not right now I'm undecided Maybe I can just vegan it up on the weekends or like for dinner some days. I don't know. Just throw in some vegan options in there. That that may be what I do. Like just some days make a good old little vegan meal. My favorite part of doing my makeup is eyeshadow. So I don't know. If you if you're into makeup and you're watching this video. You probably noticed that I um that I set my face before I put my foundation on. I I learned that trick from Jackie Ina and Daru. We're gonna see if it works. I'm gonna test it out and see if that works. For moi. I don't know if she really came up with it or not. Um, but she's the only person. She's the first person that I saw do it. And I don't watch a whole lot of beauty like gurus. Anyway. So it could be somebody who's well known. That's doing it way before her. But just because I didn't see their video. I can't. Can't get them the credit child. If I don't know. So we're going to see. I love Jackie Ina's video so freaking much like I just love her channel and I just recently found it um here on YouTube and I trust like her makeup always turns out so great and I really trust her like opinions her reviews a lot <clears throat> so I don't think she would do something that just does not work she swears by putting on your setting powder before your foundation so in my mind, I'm already almost sold that it's going to work, child. And hopefully it works for me. But I do know some things work for some people and don't work for others. It's just life. Because all of our little asses are different, honey. So that happens and that is perfectly oh, okay. I don't have a look planned. I'm just winging this whole thing. And hopefully I turn out looking cute and not like, not cute, I guess would be the alternative. Skipping back to like weight loss, the weight loss topic right quick. I don't have a goal, not like a goal weight in mind because I'm so tall. Like I feel like. The little, the chart at the doctor say I'm supposed to weigh, I think 185, which may sound like a lot to like short people, but I'm 5'10". So 185 on me, I feel would look sick. Like I think I would look like I'm about to meet my maker at 185. I feel like I would look sick, like this was it. Yeah, so 185 definitely is not a goal for me. I think 200, maybe 210 would probably look um, healthy on me. Yeah, so that's, but I don't have a number. I really don't. I, I definitely know it won't be 185 because, child, I'm not trying to be a rail. 
my birthday is coming up so I feel like that is something that I probably could use to stay motivated like if I keep in mind every day that my birthday is only like a couple months away and I'll, if I want to look super fine or I could try to you know I could aim to look a whole lot finer on my birthday so I think that's something I could really use to stay focused and make sure I'm getting my ass up every day and hitting my little home gym hard because who don't want to look good on their birthday like who don't want to look their best on their birthday and for those of you who care to know my birthday is November 12th I'm a Scorpio so I don't care what anybody says that's the best sign ever best sign with a D that's the best sign ever And we out here. We is out here. Yeah. I'm really just winging this whole thing. And I hope it come out cute because it would be the day that I wing it like on camera. This shit comes out looking crazy because that's my look. But maybe it won't. Maybe I shouldn't be too ambitious with these color choices. Oh, shit. Maybe I shouldn't be too ambitious with these color choices. Maybe I should play it safe. But I mean, if it comes out looking horrible, I mean, it's not that serious. It's not serious at all. Actually, I'm not going to cry about it. I think my natural cuteness will shine through anyway. You know? Okay, let me go in with this color. I'm already I'm about to teeter on the line of fucking this up I'm real I really am like okay no okay no they did that did what I needed her to do that's cute just wanted to darken up the crease a little bit just a smidgen you know every time I think of like pink under I like a pink pink color around the eyes I feel like it's so easy for you to look sick like you need to be quarantined so hopefully, hopefully this does what I needed to do because I ain't got time to be looking like I need to be locked down by the government. Not today, you know? Not on a Monday. Pink under eye can really easily look like an infection. So I'm just going to pray about this because I'm already in there. It ain't no turning back right now. Okay. That's my puppy trying to break out of jail back there. Cool it, cool Joe. I have to figure out what I want to do for my birthday. Because I don't have any birthday plans. I have never had a birthday party. So one year I definitely want to have a birthday party. I mean, not even. I don't know. Maybe if, as a kid I probably had one. But I don't remember. So I had to be like if I did before I turned five. Because I don't remember ever having a birthday party. That's definitely something I want to do one day. One year I want to have like a little jammy jam one year but I don't think I have enough friends to have a party like I have like two friends I mean who gonna come to my party look just my family most of my family is in Chicago I definitely could tell a difference with how my foundation went on like I thought it might have caked but it didn't cake at all and it really is like so flawless looking it dried up flawlessly like I just want to see if it's gonna keep me from oiling up because at the end of the day usually I have enough oil in my t-zone on the side of my nostrils to, no to, to grease all my knuckles honey and yeah I ain't got time to be out here looking like a little grease grease monkey every day so yeah 
hopefully hopefully that works for me i'm so hungry like i hope i can find somebody to go out to dinner with me because shit i'm hungry and i want to sit down and eat something really good and good for me because i'm on this diet I feel like I need more like bronzer, more more of a contour, but I don't want to overdo it because when I'm looking into the viewfinder, it looks like I'm washed out. I look I look like I need more definition. But looking at my little like mirror, I feel like it looks fine, so I don't know what to do. Hi damn, usually I at this point in my life put my little mold back because it's gone and it's it's buried under it's buried under my new face but i don't have it up here with me so i'm just gonna have to do that off camera as i'm going out the door to give me some food let me just check it out like i really i guess it's all right i ain't gonna i'm not gonna trip too much not 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 today Just slap that on there. A whole bunch of it. Let me just go back in with some more. Okay, so I'm about to throw on my little lashes and be through, honey. Yeah, because I'm so hungry. And I was like, let me do this video. Because at least when I go, give me something to eat. I won't look crazy. I'll look cute. And maybe my husband is <clears throat> is out there too. And he'll be like, hey girl, give me your number. Well, no. I take that back because I don't want nobody approaching me like that. Like, guys don't even realize how important the approach is. I'm going to say to some women because to me and to the women I know it's important. And I don't know, like, I mean, the way you approach somebody or the way you approach a woman can break your chances, like, for sure. Because I've had guys come up to me who look decent and they're just like, hey, hey. Like, that ain't cute. No, talk like you got some sense. Like, I want somebody to come up and just be like, you know, hey, how you doing? Real respectable. Not real ratchet. I don't, mm -mm. ratchet ain't my type. No. Not to say that a uh, good approach will get you in there because let me tell you this little short story. I had this guy, uh, like the best approach ever that I've gotten, that I've ever witnessed. So I'm at dinner with a friend of mine at this really nice, like romantically lit restaurant anyway. Like it was already a scene. So the waitress comes over with a like whole speech. Like it was so cute. It was a whole whole little script of how I was the most beautiful woman that he's ever seen and he would love for us to get married and have children and have a nice life together but if for whatever reason that wasn't possible he would at least like to be my friend it was a nice whole little whole little thing right and I look now let me just dip, put a disclaimer in there so I don't sound like a bitch I feel like this no looks are everything like no but you do have to be attracted to the person at least like and it's okay for looks it's okay for you not to be attracted to somebody because everybody doesn't have the same taste just because you don't look good to me you might look good to the next nine women like so that is okay it's okay for you not to be somebody's type it's okay for someone not to be yours well, let me not let me say not type. Attractive. It's okay for somebody not to be attractive to you. And it's okay for you not to be attractive to somebody else. Cause it's it could be a million other men out here or women who find you attractive. And just because that one person doesn't doesn't mean you're unattractive. You're just not attractive to them. That is perfectly fine. So anywho. I look at the table because he was sitting at, like, okay, we had a booth and there was another booth, okay, a booth here, booth beside it. I'm sitting, like, facing that way 
and he was also sitting facing me so when i looked up to see who it was i'm like oh and i tried to keep my face cute you know i tried to keep a poker face but yeah uh-uh he was a far from far 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 from what I'm usually what I would be attracted to like it was nothing my little eyes neither one of them saw anything attractive about him and that's okay because there may be plenty of women who do who find stuff attractive about him I was just nice about it I smiled at him and I was just like can you tell him thank you I'm with someone and um I don't think it's appropriate for us to exchange any information. Lying through my teeth. Didn't have nobody at the house. All I had was Gizmo. And he don't give a damn. But yeah. So that was that. I'm like why couldn't there have been somebody who I'm attracted to? Like why couldn't he be cute? I mean if even if he was halfway decent. Like even if he was a little cute. I could have made it work. But he didn't have given me anything to work with. <clears throat> and I just couldn't. I couldn't do. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do anything with that. There was nothing I could do with that. And if I had just went with it, I would have ended up just, I mean, you can't make it work. If you're not physically attracted to somebody, sometimes you see people in first hand, they're not attractive to you like at first glance. And then if you're around them, say y'all work together, they can grow on you and start to look cute. I've had that happen actually, like where I kind of forget that the guy was ugly just because he was so funny and had such a good personality. And um, you know, started to like them. So, yeah, I've definitely had that happen, and it's possible. But we wasn't in that situation where I was forced to be around him, and he grew on me. No, this wasn't the same type of deal. And I wasn't willing to give it a chance. No. Nah. Okay. I hope my curls are not too tight. Okay, let me take these rings off before I rip my damn hair out. Strand by strand. Let me just handle, let me tame the one side first. Because, child, it's a struggle out here in these streets sometimes. If one side of my hair get the acting up and then I'll roll this side, she might want to try to act up on my ass too. So, let me get this side straightened out. I need to order me some more contacts. Because I'm on my last pair. God, God forbid. I have glasses, but I hate wearing them. Like, I like them. They're so cute. But... Since my eyelashes are so long, like the ones that I glue on, they like when I try to blink and I have my glasses on, they like get stuck. My eye gets stuck. So I don't ever wear my glasses. Well, I mean, it's not that I don't ever wear them, but I don't wear them that often. Because I don't want to have a stuck eyes, you know? That ain't cute. That ain't cute to nobody. Some things aren't just some things aren't attractive to anyone, and that's one of them. So, yeah, I need to go find me a bobby pin. Pin that down. So that is it for this this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you got this far and listening to all my little rambling, honey, I appreciate it. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment below. Oof. Comment below. And I will see you guys in the next one. I'm about to go find me something to eat. Go uh, draw my little mo on that ain't got lost. Here is a close up of the look. I hope you guys like it. Let me see if I like it. I mean, it's cute or whatever. 
I like it. It's a little. I mean, I like it. I ain't do too much, you know. But I still like it. Let me try to get a thumbnail, honey.